in this tutorial, we'll be talking about rotations about the origin. Now, you can rotate around different points on a coordinate plane, but this particular tutorial will be solely around the origin. So you can make a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. That's when you go with the numbers of the clock. Or you can make a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation, where you go against the numbers of the clock. And you can make other rotations, such as 180 degrees, which would be two 90 degree turns, or even 270 degrees, which would be three 90 degree turns. So for this particular video, we will not be talking about the 180 degree rotations. And technically, we will not be talking about the 270 degree rotations, although we will be doing them. So let me show you a pair of coordinate axes. And if you were located here, and you made a 90 degrees clockwise rotation, then you would end there, 90 degrees clockwise. If you were to make a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation, you would wind up here, 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now, if you were to make three turns, 90, another 90, that makes 180, and a third 90, that would be 270 degrees. And that would put you at the very exact same location as the counterclockwise 90 degree rotation. So I won't be calling it a 270 degree rotation today. I will be calling it a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. I think that helps you in your understanding of the rule today, but please note these are the same thing. 270 degrees counter, uh, 270 degrees clockwise is the same as 90 degrees counterclockwise. All right, let's get started with the lesson. So the learning target for this video is that you can perform a rotation about the origin either 90 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees counterclockwise, also known as 270 degrees clockwise. So pause the video for a minute and take a look at those rules that I wrote in the success criteria. Did you take some time to look them over? You might already be noticing what happens to an ordered pair when you rotate 90 degrees. So with this uh, notation here, the lowercase r stands for the word rotation. And the subscript, or the number down below, represents its clockwise direction. And it always is written in a clockwise direction, which is why this one says 270. Because if they both said 90, how would you know if it was clockwise or counterclockwise? Okay, I'm going to use the words clockwise and counterclockwise today because I think they are helpful. Clockwise, counterclockwise, I think they are helpful in reminding you of which coordinate will change its sign. So hopefully you're noticing that about these rules that I wrote. I still have X and Y. They're not in the same order as they originally were. And one of them, clockwise, counterclockwise, has changed signs. So hopefully that will help you as we start manipulating our ordered pairs today. So remember, the direction of the rotation is important. So if you are rotating 90 degrees clockwise, you are moving towards the right with the numbers of the clock. If you are rotating counterclockwise, you are moving towards the left or against the hours of the clock, right? Like this. All right, let's take a look here. I have this uh, triangle here. And I'm going to rotate it by turning this image um, as best I can 90 degrees clockwise, or one quarter turn to the right. See what's happening here? One quarter turn to the right. You'll notice that it's not really facing the same direction anymore, right? See this C used to be on the upper right, and now C is on the bottom right. So that's one 90 degree rotation to the right. And I want you to look at what's happening to my axes here. Let me show you what I mean. I have a red axis here, that's the y axis, and have a blue horizontal axis here, that's my x axis. 
And look what happens when I rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Look what happens to my red axis, right? My y-axis becomes my horizontal x-axis. You see that? My y-axis, which used to be up and down, is now running left and right. And my blue axis, my x-axis, which used to be horizontal, left and right, is now running up and down. So that should make sense to you when I say that a 90 degree rotation takes your original point and it swaps the X and Y positions. You notice that? So when I rotate this, either whether I go clockwise, bloop, or even if I go the other way, counterclockwise, bloop, the X axis and the Y axis always swap places. The x-axis and the y-axis always swap places. So that's important for you to notice, right? That every time you rotate 90 degrees, the x and y-axis swap places. Now, if I make two turns, 90, 180, whoop, my x and y's are right back where they started. So only the 90 degree rotations, whether you go to the right clockwise or whether you go to the left counterclockwise, only the 90 degree, degree rotations swap those x and y values. Now here's something else that's important. These are my positive y's. And these are my negative y's. And these are my positive x's. And these are my negative x's. Right, so let's take a look. Let's take a look here at my x's. Right, your blue line here. Let's take a look at them. If I have some positive x's over here, if I have some positive x's over here, and they swap places because they turn 90 degrees. Are they still going to be positive values? No, you see that? They're located down here in the negative area. They're located in this negative area. So first is, they used to be X's, right? Now they're Y's. <laughs> they used to be positive, and now they're negative. So when I make a 90 degrees clockwise rotation, 90 degrees clockwise rotation, not only do my X and Y change places, but my X becomes negative or negated. Okay, because if it used to be negative, it'll become a positive. So let's take a look at an example I have here, right? So I had my triangle ABC, and when I rotated it 90 degrees clockwise, Let's take a look at the actual numbers. So here's my original numbers. And the red ones represent my new prime values. These black coordinates represent the original image. After you rotate 90 degrees clockwise, these red coordinates represent the new image. Notice that my x and y coordinates have swapped places, right? Just like when I turn those axis pairs, notice that my values here have also swapped places. Now, this happened every single time. Every single time. But what also happened is that some of my values changed their signs, right? That's called being negated. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you, be, that you become negative, it means that you become negated, which is the word opposite. So I become the opposite of what I was. So here, what we're going to do is to remind ourselves, after we make a 90 degrees clockwise rotation, we're going to swap our numbers, so 2 and 0. We're going to swap them to become 0 and 2. And then we're going to draw this arrow, which is a 90 degree turn, right? That's the way we're going to go if we go 90 degrees clockwise. And it reminds us to change the sign of this number. So the rules that we perform when we return our figures 90 degrees clockwise is that we swap these two numbers, see, 2, negative 3, but we negate or change the sign of this value here. Notice when you make a 90 degree turn that if you take a starting point, connect it to the origin, and connect it to its new place, it should always make that 90 degree box. Take your point, connect it to the origin, 
then connect it to its new location, it should always be making that 90 degree turn. Take your original point, connect it to the origin, connect it to its new location, and you should always see that 90 degree box. All right, let's review what we've learned. That 90 degree rotations swap, right? They swap the X and Y values, and one coordinate has to change signs. So if you're going clockwise, this one will change signs. And if you're going counterclockwise, that one will change signs. So you probably would need to write these rules down so you can remember. So pause the video so you can write this rule down. 90 degree rotations swap the order of the coordinates and one coordinate has to change signs. So remember there are two ways that you can rotate. You can rotate clockwise, which is what I just showed you. You could also rotate counterclockwise. So when you draw this arrow, it kind of really helps to remind you of which value should be changing signs. Right? So we're not going to talk about 180 degrees today, so you don't have to look at this right now. We're going to concentrate just on our 90 degree rotations. First thing you need to know is you should swap the x and y coordinates. Then the next thing you need to know is you need to negate or change the sign of one of those values. The direction in which you go reminds you whether you should change the new y or change the new x. Let's take a look at an example, okay? Remember, for 90 degree rotations, you swap the order of the numbers, and then depending on which way you're going, you change the sign of that value. So if you're going to go 90 degrees clockwise, make a note, that's the one you're going to change the sign of. So swap the two numbers, and now change the sign. You're done. Swap, then opposite. Those are the rules. Swap, then opposite. Drawing the directional arrow, like I did here at the beginning, oftentimes will help you to remember who should be changing signs. All right, let's try another one. 90 degrees clockwise. Draw my directional arrow. Swap the numbers. Change the sign. Swap, then opposite. How about this one? 90 degrees clockwise. That's the direction. Swap the numbers. Change this sign. That's it. 90 degrees clockwise. Draw your arrow, swap your numbers, and change the sign. Boop. That's going to be a positive 5. Or you could just erase it altogether. Swap, then opposite. All right, one more. 90 degrees clockwise. Swap the digits. Change only one sign. Or you can erase them. I think you're ready to try a few on your own. Pause the video now, and when you're ready, start the video to check your answers. Okay, let's take a look and see how you did. Did you swap and change the sign? Hopefully you got them right, because now we're going to work on the opposite rotation. 90 degrees counterclockwise. So here's the good news. It's the same rule. You still swap the order of the numbers, right? You still swap the coordinates. But remember this directional arrow. Draw the arrow in the way you're rotating. It helps remind you of which one changes sign. There's your final answer. So swap, then opposite. The directional arrow will point to the value that needs the opposite sign. Again, swap the points. Draw your directional arrow. It helps you know who changes signs. Counterclockwise against the clock. Swap your points, draw your arrow, change your sign, or in this case, erase it all together. One more time. Swap your points, draw your directional arrow, change your sign. Last one. 90 degrees counterclockwise means I swap the order of the coordinates 
and I change one of the values. You can either write a plus or you can erase it entirely. I think you got the hang of it. Go ahead and rotate these three points about the origin 90 degrees counterclockwise. Pause the video now. Okay, let's see how you did. Time to check those answers. All right, we swapped, we changed the first. We swap, we change the first. We swap, we change the first. That's it. You've got it. All right, I like for you to try these last four on your own. Pause the video now, and let's see if we can show that we've mastered this concept. All right, ready to see how you did? Let's take a look. These are the answers. Hopefully you got them all right. You swapped each of your coordinates and you negated the right value. Well, this concludes our lesson. I'd like for you to send me your answer to this exit ticket. And hopefully you've mastered how to rotate a coordinate point 90 degrees about the origin, either clockwise or counterclockwise.